Hello, my delicious co-creators. Lilou here. I'm in Quebec. Uh, I found another bilingual, and I thought, you're bilingual, Daniel? I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well, we'll, we'll see if I'm bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I just love it and really appreciate that we're doing this interview in English because your book is 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 not it's not in 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 in, in English yet, but yet 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 exactly but it's out of zone how do you say it? how to get out of your comfort zone yeah. it's all about that so this is perfect because you're right now you've never done an interview in English so here we are this is a perfect example of getting out of your comfort zone this is my f this is the first time of my life I do an English interview about my book I don't know if I know all the words in English. This so, is a perfect example. Exactly. But you know what? You, you asked me, can you do? Can we do an English interview? I said, yeah. I was scared. I didn't know insecurity. But now we're doing it. I'm not dying. It's going okay. I hope you understand what I'm saying. And after that, I'm going to be so excited. I'm going to say, I'm going to tell myself, hey, you did an English interview. Wow, that's cool. I'm going to be proud and that's what that's what it does to get out of your comfort zone. You're scared, you're stressed, but when you do it, you close your eyes, you you put your head down and you go uh, you go forward and after that you wake up, you you open your eyes and you're proud and you're excited. Yeah. That's how you, you you get excited, alive and happy, I think. Yeah. And what's awesome is that you're, you're a typical example of, of, of somebody that is living it and that wants to share that with others. That You, you love getting out outside of your comfort zone. You've been doing this all your life. You even jump out of, of airplanes and sold businesses. Tell us about your, your story right now, what you decided 11 months ago. You didn't know this was going to come out? I didn't know. I, I knew how to write 11 months ago. I started my first sentence of the book 11 months ago. Now uh, it's out. It's published. You're here with me asking me a question. I would have. I'm a cr cr chronicler. How do you say that? A newspaper. Uh, you're, you're a journalist. You write in newspaper. I write my opinion in a major Quebec newspaper. And 11 months ago, I didn't know. I knew how to write. I only wrote textos and uh, and uh, emails. That's it. That's all. I never dreamed about writing a book. And but I get. Uh, I sold my company in communication. I didn't know at all what I was going to do. I, I just knew I was tired, bored uh, of doing what I was doing. I sold my company. I, I was a pretty good company, 12 employees, full-time, 40 employees, uh, part-time. And uh, we had a, a great company. I sold it to my uh, partner. I said, I, I don't know what I'm going to do next. You have kids. He has kids. No excuse. Three kids. How old? A house. Uh, I have a 16 years old, uh, 12 and 10 years old kids. I have a wife. Uh, I have everything that makes you <laughs> stop. Make you nervous for not doing, I mean, not wanting to do it. Yeah. Exactly. I have all the reason to not make move, to, uh, to not follow my instinct, my intuition, uh, my dream, what I want to do, just because I have kids, wife, a house to pay, but I did it anyway. And that's probably one of the best, like I told you before. Retirement also. Now I don't care about retirement. I don't want to retire. I want to work all my life just because I like what I do. I want people stop me working because I like what I do and getting paid for it. So uh, it's uh, much less scary when you think like that than when you think about getting a lot of money, a big amount of money, because one day you want to retire and do nothing because you don't like what you do right now. That's, I think it's pretty much uh, the majority of people who thinks like that. I think it's sad. I, I know it's easier to say than to do. But I walked the talk. That's what people tell me. I, I did what I'm saying. I, I'm not just talking for talking. I did it not once. I did it many times in my life. Uh, before that, I was a record producer, big Quebec singer, star singers. Uh, we sold 100, 800,000 of copies of records and big stars here. But after a few years, I was getting bored of what I was doing. I did everything I had to do. I, I was not excited anymore so I wanted to try something else I I moved from Montreal to Quebec uh, it was not done on I didn't plan to do that I just visited a, ha visited a house 
I'm telling you how I moved from Montreal to Quebec. A Saturday, uh, we're, I was living in Montreal with my girlfriend, big jobs in, uh, in Montreal, happy to be there. But we, we were looking for houses around Montreal and uh, we were both from Quebec City. So uh, one Saturday, we, I asked my girlfriend, hey, let's go just see houses around Quebec City, just for fun, just to compare the prices, Quebec City, Montreal. So that Saturday, we, we, we came in the house where I live now, 15 years later. We, we went in the house, we said to the agent, we're buying the house. We, we, we did an offer, it was accepted. And the two days after, the Monday morning, I went back to see my boss in Montreal tell him that I was moving back to Quebec because you said why uh, I, I don't know my feeling tells me that now it's I live in Quebec City and the rest have to follow my dad asked me what you gonna do I was a record producer no industry of record producing here in Quebec I said I don't know I'm gonna sell drugs or whatever but now I know I live here and the rest have to follow and that was one of the I had a, a baby I had I had bought a house uh, we were leaving our two jobs not one two jobs moving from another town to another town all the big stress we had it but that was one of the best decision I, I, I made in my life and I, I did that often in my life and now I know that when you follow your I don't know how you call that intuition. Good feelings. Good feelings, uh, exactly. Uh, you know w when you have to take a decision, but the only thing, the only reason why you don't do it is because you're scared. For, uh, money, uh, we, uh, we, I had all the good reason to not do that. But now I know 15 years later, that was one of the best decisions of my life. And I just did it again two years ago, and I know it's a good thing to do. I'm not die, I didn't die. Um, I'm happy everything goes well and uh, I'm going to do that I think for the rest of my life. I'm not saying I'm going to do what I'm doing today for the rest of my life. I hope so, but if it doesn't happen and I think about something else, I want to try something else because uh, I did everything I had to do in that area of my, my life, I'll make the change. Now I know, I trust, you have to be confident of course. Yeah, it's easy to say to, to trust life and na 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 na. I know it's easy to say, but it's true. I did it, and many people did it. You did it. The majority of people who did that, you ask them after, do you regret what you did many years ago? They never regret what they did. It's the best thing, best decision. Yeah. Maybe some regrets. Maybe they did it, like I said before in the French interview, that they did it for wrong reasons. That's possible too. I'm not saying that everybody uh, it's working 100%. I have no trick, uh, tricks or the truc, c'est... Uh, bah, no, uh, the, 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 oh yeah, back in the tricks. Uh, I have no tricks, uh, do that, that, that. I, I don't know about that. I just know, follow your, your gut feeling, intuition, and that's, it's working, for real. Is there, is there a process for people that don't are scared of, of going there or scared of take, making that decision? They feel it, but they've been going around and around in their house for a long time and they're just... Majority of people, I think, are like that. <laughs> like I say, it's easy to say, not be scared and do it. And It's scary. It's, it's hard to do. But do it. It's a, there's no trick. It's a, it's like that. You have to make a decision. You you decide. One day it's enough. I do that. I change that. And and whatever happened next, uh, I don't care. It has to follow. And uh, it's like that. You have to be confident. But uh, follow what you think. Follow what you feel. Follow follow <laughs> exactly. But there's n there's nothing rational in that. Never never. If you do the why should I do that and why should should I should I not do that. It's only a list of why I shouldn't not do that. It's always that list. There's only one reason to do that. It's I think it's better to do that because I feel it. That's the only you you you. Nobody knows what's gonna happen next. Nobody can guarantee anything. But that's how it works. I think. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Daniel. You're welcome. I wish you great success with this book. I know you're going to do well. I'm excited soon in English, I'm sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having the courage to do it and getting out of your comfort zone because we can benefit from it too. Not only you have a better life, but we can benefit from it. Thank you. You will. If you th you're thinking about making a move in your life or in whatever area of your life, do it. 
do it. You won't regret it, I'm sure. <laughs> and, you, and you know it. <laughs> Action! <laughs> big, big kisses from Quebec, from Salon International des Livres de Québec. Bye.